You think I'm going to sit here and be jealous and to be upset of another man or another woman man when God has blessed me the way he's blessed me? That ain't even in me. I'm, I'm not a jealous person. I'm not an envious person. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you the game. I'm going to give you the playbook. I'm going to give you the knowledge. When I see a kid taking a, a, a left when he should stay right, I pick up a phone and call him. I don't even have to know him. I mean, rapper, entertainer, athlete, anything. I pick up a phone and just say, look, man, God has called me to be a navigational system. I'm not perfect, but I'm during show present. And I'm going to get it right, and I'm going to try my best to lead you to where you want to go because I know how to get there. And I made a lot of mistakes, but I'm able to go back and say, no, 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 no. It's like that, it's, it's like that, 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 that fighter, that fighter, he's in there fighting and you guys are in there fighting. You got to have somebody in the corner saying left, right. Okay, hit him with the left, hit him with the right. All, oftentimes you try to do all this stuff by yourself and that's not going to happen. You're going to have to have a coach. You're going to have to have a team. You're going to have somebody that has your back that's able to give you direction and you got to receive correction and not toot your mouth up and twist your head and start rolling your neck and start snapping around in a circle. You can't do all that. You got to be able to accept direction and correction. I'm going to go back to the kids right quick because I'm just curious. How, do, how have you raised them to be competitive and how do they move up or, and or down on your daddy leader bulletin? Say that again? Yeah, how do they move up and down daddy's leader's bullet? Oh, they got to do stuff for daddy. That's how they move up and down. They got, they got, I, I they noticed got, uh, they got, they got no, no Christmas gift. They got me nothing for Christmas, but they expect something. You know, I, I really say, I, when they come over, I really say, y'all got to go back to the car and go ahead and get that because I know you didn't walk in here empty-handed <laughs> with expectation. Uh, and, but they do. My, my son's birthday was yesterday, and I said, happy birthday, son. I'm going to get you just what you got me. <laughs> Nothing, all right? But I got a whole lot of wisdom and understanding for you. I don't want that, daddy, okay? Uh, give me that first part of that question. Yeah, and, and how, do you, how do you stoke competition amongst your children and, and, and not have that my, sibling rivalry where it's destructive? My kids are very competitive, and uh, they're very active because of what they've seen. I've, I've shown them things. So you gotta be careful. Athletes have to be careful of this and early retirees have to be careful of this when you're retired and you are doing nothing to help the country, to help the community, to help anything. You're just sitting there on a stack of money, just laid back and your kid's gonna assess that and say, well, my daddy ain't done nothing because they didn't see me in my prime. Hmm. So I gotta create life and have them to understand that no 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 daddy gets up and works out in the morning no daddy is sweating by the time you get up daddy's already eating breakfast and he's ready for the day daddy's on zoom calls he's making it happen daddy's for for thoughtful he's he's really th seeing things in the future that's trying to make sure it happen daddy is bringing people together he's bringing unity and provoking change they had to see all that stuff for themselves and then get in where they fit in so now that they can see some of my attributes now they could adopt some of them. They're not going to adopt all of them. Quit getting to the situation where you think your kids are going to be you. It ain't but one you. And you should be thankful it ain't but one you. It'll never be another you. That attitude you got, we don't want that, okay? That tardiness you got, no, no, nobody want that. But all those true qualities, yeah, you could have all that thing, but those things, but it's only one you. And I don't expect from my kids what I would do. I used to, and I got my little feelings hurt. If I expect that they're going to do this because I would have done that, I'm going to get my little feelings hurt because they got to learn for themselves. But it's up to you to be that cut man in the corner and it's up to you to be that navigational system for them without bashing them or belittling them. One thing that I've learned with my team, and I've learned this a long time ago in coaching, I exude love, my man. I, I exude love in all its attributes and all its components, then I've learned how to listen. I got love, I exude that, I give that, then I sit back, I learn how to listen, okay? Then I'm a straight leader, love, listen, and I lead, and then I forgot my other L, it's gonna come to me in a minute. <laughs> 
It's not go. laugh. I, 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 I laugh. It's, it's laugh. laugh. That was a good one. It'll come to me in a minute. My mind is way down the street right now. Yeah. <laughs>